Thanks, Pat. Yeah, love it. See you later. Postman, Cat. Oh, boy, it might be. Yeah, a couple of brown envelopes. The rest is for here. I'll give you a shout in a minute. Yeah. Do you know what, Mrs. Bill? You don't get old enough to have a boy, baby. Yeah, but the best thing is, I don't feel old enough either. Any minute now, you're going to tell me how kind I am. You won't be able to contain yourself. I know how kind you are. I've just done something about it. I want to keep my job. Good. You can knock off a bit earlier, today. You? you, what brought this on? Just an overwhelming desire to be kind to you, that's all. I'm tired, then. When can I knock off? Just as soon as you get to the hospital for visiting. I might have guessed. Hang about a minute. I can't go. Well, someone's got to. Hands need some clean knickers and a refill for a Lucas eight. So why don't you go? Because I'm busy. Sorry, can't help. Oh, sour grapes, eh? Don't come the innocent with me. If you ever pull a stroke like that again, you'll be out this boozer fast and you can pull down a zip. I sleep with who I want to, when I want to. Blackmail only gets me annoyed. Understand? Good. Now, about this hospital visit. I'd like to help them, but I can't. Sorry, I do have a laugh of my own, you know. So you're not going to go for me? No, nope. and you're not the only one who can say no. Fine. When can I knock off? You've got to be joking. Come on, Riley. Would you like it? Oh, it's yes. Oh, birthday boy. Oh, shame won't get much wear out of it, innit? Of course you will. Oh. Yeah, wear it every year, won't he, Cat? Yeah. Try on, son. No, I can't like this, can I, Dad? Oh, well, look, wait till you dress then, eh? Yeah, all right. <laughs> come on, let me have a present. I want to see what it is. Yeah, all right. Where's it from? Where do I know? I have known it yet. Come on, get a move on. Oh, don't surprise the pen. Why don't you give it a You ain't instead of sex, fully illustrated. The what? You heard? Here, let me have a look. No. Who sent you that? Well, I know. There's no card with it, is yeah, there? Yeah, somebody's want to tell you something. Well, I don't want that left hanging around the flat where anyone can pick it up. No, nah, dead right, Cap. I'll take charge. No, you won't. Must be from Edmira. Who? Yeah, who want to send him a book like that? Oh, thanks, Pops. Here, let me have a little look and then I... No! Why not? Hell, oh, because it's mine. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a sandwich and a cat, then I'll go and keep Graham company for a bit. There you go, mate. Oh, cheers, Doug. Can't you see him? No, no, you'll be at college all day. All right, catch you later, all right? Bye, Dad. Bye. What's you got, company coming tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah 20 sure. pence, and don't tell everybody. They want them all at them prices. Okay. Well, 38 pence, Mum. Fine. Uh, all right, Pete. Hi, oh, I can. Thought you'd gone back to New Zealand. That's seen you out in a couple of days. Just thinking things through. I reckon we need a check. Yeah. Look, Ken, as far as I'm concerned, it's over. Done. Some you win, some you lose. Say this was a draw. Sounds about right. Look, I've been in England for two weeks now. It's felt like I've done two weeks in the ring with Mike Tyson. Never mind an holiday. I wouldn't mind me dressing the balance. Don't blame me. Yeah, but you are coming to Ian's party tonight. If you still want me there. Of course I do. Look, Ken, if I've got to share a son with someone, who's better than my young brother? Lunchtime fight? Sounds right to me. All right. Right then, who's the next lucky lady to get her husband a thrill tonight? It's only me, Gwen. Tea, shall I? Oh, if you would put out an extra cup. Expecting someone else? No, I'm already here. Shouldn't you be at college? No, I was popping to see my gran on her birthday. And do you know why? Because I was giving his birthday box. That's not true. I was just popping it to see you, didn't I? Oh, I'm only pulling your leg. You're a good boy, really. Got <laughs> anything nice then? Oh, listen, that. Mum and Dad are giving me their main present tonight. Mm. You didn't send me a book, did you? No. Well, somebody did. So? Well, she ate a Z of six, fully illustrated. And I mean, fully illustrated. It's got colour close-ups to works. And you thought it was for me? Yeah, wishful thinking. Well, I didn't. Oh, I wonder who did. Somebody who's obviously after your bones. I should I admit it could be me? Oh, yeah? Yeah. See, I was thinking of giving you... Oh, yeah, I'm all for that. What here, Ian? Hey. Have either of you seen Simon lately? Yeah, around in the background. Well, I want you to do me for a favour. Uh, tell him I want to see him. There's something we need to discuss. Yeah, well, he's a bit busy right now. Well, oh, come if you ask. <coughs> yeah, all right. Fancy walking with this? Mm, I'll just pour Graham some tea. Right. Have you had Dot's present yet? Dot? She doesn't usually give me a present. Well, she has this year. She says it's something that everybody who comes of age should have. Well, what is it? A book. A book? Yeah. It's uh, the A to Z or something. I didn't quite catch it. I'm surprised you haven't got it. She was very keen to give it you. Here, I'll take my tea in there. Yeah, all right, Gran. Uh, we'll see you later, all right? Come, let's go. You can't be Dot. Why not? Stranger things have happened. Well, like what? Well, like what my dad was telling me the other night. About the fatherhood of a certain person. Ah, oh, Simon. Yeah. Well, I suppose it would have been hard not to tell you, especially what's been going on around here the past couple of weeks. I couldn't see what all the fuss was about, personally. He made it sound like some big deal. Hang on, it was for Simon. Sometimes I'd prefer if I'd no father at all. 
Simon, it's James here. Yeah, but he's rehearsing with George Formby. <sighs> James, I'd like a word about the offer I made on the house. Oh, then. Yes, that. I'd like to know where I stand. Well, unfortunately, somebody else may be interested, but they want to have a survey done before they make an offer. Oh, yeah, so in the meantime, you expect me to hang on, do you? Yep, pray so. Charming. Look, Mags, I'll tell you what I'll do. At no expense to you, I'll phone the estate agent myself and see if there's any news. It's good, Lofty. Keep it up. Thanks. I don't think you should have done that, Mags. What? I'm coming in here, having a go at Wilmot. I do work here, you know. Yeah, and I'm trying to find somewhere to live, you know. Well, it's not the only house in the world. There are others. Where? All over. Well, come on, then. If you're so smart, you go and find one. Oh, Mags, it's all getting bang out of order. Is it? I don't think so. I think your indifference is out of order. That's what I think. What do you mean, my indifference? Well, a little concern would not go amiss. We're talking about an house, not a nuclear missile. Yeah, a house that I intend to set up a home in. I, you know, I was thinking it's Ian's birthday today, isn't it? You what? Ian, he's 18 today. Oh, yeah. Well, we should get him a present, really, shouldn't we? Yeah, look, can we talk about that later, Lofty? Yeah. Look, I'll see you later, all right? Well, just like that. You come in here and then you lose me the job. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Hi, right, mate. You called a bad time? Nah, it's all right. What's up with her? House buying blues, mate. Oh, we've got all that to come, haven't we? Don't we? Yeah, well, don't worry. I think you better put her in your grand. She wants to work with you. Oh, that's a turn-up. Why? Oh, we had a bit of a rally the other week. I didn't think she'd ever speak to me again. Yeah, well, I get the impression the sooner you get round there, the better. You know what she's like. Yeah, all right. I'll try and get some time off this morning. Yeah, all right. See you later, mate. Bye. Yeah. Oh, Ian. Yeah. Happy birthday, mate. Oh, thanks. See ya. Yeah. Mike's gone. Yeah. Well, can you tell her when you see her that there's still no news? And in future, would she deal with the estate agent and not me? All right, all right, I'm coming. Can't be that thirsty. Yeah, what's the rush? This is 18th birthday. We're celebrating. Wouldn't it wait till tonight? No, it's like a bit of world news wife, innit? I want my first legal drink just to be me and Elizabeth. Huh. Two pints of lager, please. You know how to spoil a lady, don't you? <laughs> Donna? Yeah? What are you doing this afternoon? Working here. Then what? Well, I promised to go and see someone. Why? This someone doesn't happen to live near the hospital, do they? Which hospital? The one Angie's in. No one near, no. Shame. Thanks for the warning, Pat. I wouldn't mind, but I think he ought to go himself. He can't have everything his own way. What did your mum get you? I don't know. They're giving me my main present tonight. I thought they got you a sweater as well. Yeah, we'll leave that, Cheryl. Let's have a look. No, we're not having a... Oh, no, oh, no oh, way. Liz, no, Liz, Liz, no. No, you, no, Liz, you're... No, no. Oh. Now I know why you were so relaxed. So sweet. Oh, you haven't got to wear it, have you? Look at it. There you go. Have them on me. Happy birthday, boy. Oh, oh, what else, then? What else? A book from Doc Cotton. What sort of book? Oh, it's just a book. The A to Z of sex, fully illustrated. Thanks. Doc, oh, wouldn't get you a book like that? Yes, that's oh, what I, I don't know, time of life. I mean, you know, she may be going through a funny phase. Perhaps she wants you for a toy boy. Oh, don't be stupid. I think you should go right over there now and thank her for it. Are you got to be joking? <laughs> no, I mean, think what she can offer you that Elizabeth can't. What, what? Well, um, uh, maturity. Maturity. Experience. Experience. Gossip. Enough to keep Rupert Murdoch happy for a life. Oh, all, right, all right, game over. You've had your bit of fun. Now, come on, own up. Who sent me the book? I bet it was you, wouldn't it? Me? Me? Uh, there you are. Somebody told me you weren't at college. Anyway, I better warn you. Doc Cotton's looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> you have any ideas? What about what we're going to get him for his birthday? Well, no, I'll leave all that to you, Lofty. I thought we could get him a propelling pencil. Whatever you say. I always wanted one of them when I was a kid, a propelling pencil. Well, I never saw the point in them myself. <laughs> I mean, the lead always broke or fell out. Well, you must have had a cheap one, eh? He's still not around at the moment. Yeah, he's around somewhere. Well, can you do us a favour, Doc? What? Can you cover for me for half an hour while I nip out? I saw that. I'll get it closing time. What? Propelling pencil. No, there's something else I need to do. Oh, well, what do you want me to say? Well, anything. He won't mind, will he? It's not as if we rush off our feet. No. Right, I'll see you later then. All right. Where's he going? Uh, out. Well, I can see that. What for? Yeah, um, he's gone to get a propelling pencil for Ian for his birthday. Well, couldn't he wait till we shut up shop? Well, you know, sorry, si, when he's got to go, he's got to go, eh? Well, not in my pub, he doesn't. See ya. Thank you. Well, come in. Don't just stand there, Simon. Here, switch that thing off. Sit down. I got your message, Gran. Good. I should have come before. Why? To apologise. What for? Well, what I said. All that stuff about you and Kenny. I've no right to say it. You did be right. We all made mistakes. Me most of all. 
but believe you me, I thought at the time I did it for the best. Yeah, I know, I can see that now. It's just... What? Well, it just seemed that everyone was determined to make a mess of my life. And now? Well, now I can see it's just the way that things worked out. My mum and Pete not getting on, Kenny on the team. I just happened to be the product. Pete and Kenny aren't bad boys, you know. I know. And your mum, you know, she's not so bad either. It's just that they was all young, like you are now. They had everything to live for, but they got lost on the way. But anyhow, they, they came through. I, I'm the one living with regrets. Why? Regrets that I sent Kenny away. I lost him. And for what? That Pat and Pete should split up and then 20 years later all this? Might as well have faced the fireworks there and then. You did what you thought was right, Gran. But I was wrong. I should have known. There's only one thing good come out of all this. 